When we trust and love, we feel vulnerable. This is harmless, but when our trust is broken and love is unappreciated, it can be really painful. Whether it's from a partner, friend, or family member, the hurt stings deep. So here is how you heal from someone dear hurting you. Acknowledge your emotions. It's okay to feel hurt. Your feelings are valid. When someone you trust lets you down, it's natural to feel a mix of emotions like sadness, anger, or betrayal. But don't fixate on this so it doesn't poison you. Don't beat yourself up, acknowledge the hurt, and give yourself the time and permission to heal. Put things in perspective. Ever heard of the saying, hurt people hurt people? It is true. People can hurt us for various reasons known only to them including bitterness, jealousy, anger, greed, pride, lust, or lack of self-control. Try to objectively understand why they acted as they did. While this doesn't excuse their behavior, it can help make sense of the situation. Set clear boundaries. Prioritize your mental well-being by distancing yourself from toxic people. This could mean limiting contact, asking for space, or redefining the relationship. This helps you protect yourself from further hurt. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself. Treat yourself with the same love and comfort you'd offer a friend in need. Remind yourself that you are tougher than the pain. Instead of blaming or criticizing yourself for the past, affirm your worth and resilience. Repeat phrases like, I am worthy of love and respect, or I am capable of healing and growth. Try to repeat these phrases to yourself daily. If you're beating yourself up for trusting the person you loved who betrayed you, these mantras could help reframe your mind to a more positive and healthier perspective, especially this one. It's not my fault for being too trusting. I didn't know better then, but I'm wiser now. Letting go and forgiving. According to the National Library of Medicine, research shows that holding on to negative feelings isn't good for us mentally, socially, or physically. So for your own good, as Elsa from Frozen would sing, let it go. To let it go, you need to practice acceptance and forgiveness daily. Healing is a process. It's not something that happens instantly. Now that you've acknowledged your anger, feel it in your body without analyzing it, judging it, or entertaining thoughts that pop up in your head. To truly let go, you must first feel your emotions without judgment and then let them go eventually. Our anger is a valid emotion, but it's important to remind yourself that being angry for a prolonged time only hurts you, not them. Also try reframing the situation in a positive direction. <laughs> Wondering how? Find meaning in the experience. It's easy to fall into the trap of dwelling too much on our pain because it feels familiar and gives us the illusion of safety. On a subconscious level, we convince ourselves that if we remain angry, fearful, and guarded, we won't be hurt or harmed anymore. However, on the flip side, we're only blocking ourselves from welcoming better people and experiences into our lives. So how can we break this cycle and regain the ability to trust and love again? View the hurtful experience as an opportunity for personal growth and reflection. Reflect on the lessons learned from the experience and use them to promote positive change in your life. For instance, consider how this experience can help you set healthier boundaries or better recognize red flags in future relationships. Do you find these tips helpful? Share this video with someone who might need them too. Focus on healing. Focus on what alleviates the pain or brings joy and peace into your life. Prioritize self-care with mindfulness, hobbies, or immerse yourself in nature. Research by Professor Gomez from Boston University shows that activities like journaling, music, and art aid in overcoming betrayal and trauma. Seek support. Don't hesitate to reach out for support. Talking about your feelings with a trusted friend or family can be incredibly comforting. If needed, consider speaking with a therapist or school counselor. They can help you understand and process your emotions, learn how to cope, figure out what to do next and develop skills to handle similar situations in the future. For instance, changing negative thoughts into more positive ones, like turning, I can't do this, into, I'll give it a try. If these sources aren't available to you, 
online forums and communities that address similar topics, such as healing from betrayal, can also provide valuable support. Just be sure to exercise discernment when seeking advice. Focus on the positive. Pay attention to the positives in your life. This helps you maintain optimism even in challenging times. For example, start a gratitude journal where you write down three things you're thankful for each day or remind yourself of past challenges you've overcome to boost your confidence and strength. Dealing with hurt from someone you trusted and loved is challenging. Nonetheless, acknowledging your feelings, setting boundaries, and prioritizing self-care are important steps toward healing. Healing takes time and patience, so take it easy on yourself. You're stronger than you think. Feeling hurt by someone you trust? Watch this video to know more about the signs of betrayal trauma.